This is a supplementary video that will cover the P25's charging circuitry in depth. It is fairly lengthy as there is a lot of material to cover, so if you don't have time to watch the full video, as a quick summary, I do find the charging circuitry to be fairly competent. It exhibits very good CCCV uh, charging curve. And also, um, it's reasonably safe, provided, of, again, one understands the uh, necessary cautions to take with uh, lithium ion cells. You could jump to the very end for the full summary and detail. And at a minimum, I would also recommend checking the precautionary um, section referenced in the timeline in the captions below. Now, before we dive into the charging portion, I did want to cover the voltage indicator readout. I've prepped four cells that I will be testing through the P25's uh, voltage readout. Uh, two ready last 3400s, a old energy, and a generic uh, Panasonic based cells. So the first cell, as you can see, is 4.2 volts. Second one around 4.17, closer to 4.18. The energy is at 4.14, and the last one is at 3.97. Now the reason for this is because the P25 will round out to the nearest tenth. It does not read out in hundreds. So I just wanted to verify whether it rounds up or rounds down. Here was the first ready last cell at 4.2 volts. So that's 4 volts and 2 tenths. Next up, we have the ready last cell that was at 4.17 volts. Four volts, point 0.2. So in this case, it actually did round up. Now we have the 10 energy cell that was at 4.14 volts or thereof. Four volts, point 0.1. So in this case, it did round down correctly as it is closer to point 0.1 than point 0.2. Last but not least, we had the Panasonic cell that was at around 3.9 volts, but closer to 4. 4 So as you can see, in this case, it did round up correctly to 4 volts, but let's go ahead and drain that cell a little bit. Now one thing you will also notice is that the P25, if it detects the batteries around roughly 50% of charge, it will start flashing about once every 2 seconds here, while the light is on. And that's not the beacon locator mode, because again, the light is currently on. All right, that should be sufficient. Let's go ahead and get a readout now. Three volts. And nine tenths. So it did read it correctly. So in summary, the voltage indicator is fairly accurate. I would say it's, uh, although, Nightcore publishes the stats to be around plus or minus a tenth. I would say it's really closer to uh, plus or minus uh, 0.05. I currently have the P25 rigged up so that it's uh, ready to be uh, logged for the charging algorithm. The left meter, the radio shack, will serve to monitor the voltage. As you can see, it's 3.2 volts right now. It's uh, on a freshly uh, depleted ready last 3400. The Fluctu 89 will serve to monitor the uh, charging current. Since the USB plug is not in right now, it's actually measuring the current draw of the P25. This is on standby mode with the beacon flashing. And as you can see, it's roughly about 600 microamps. And again, this is so minuscule as to not even be a concern. You may have just noticed it jumped up. And the reason for that is when the uh, locator beacon uh, lights up on the light, uh, it may actually hit roughly about 1.4 milliamps, but again, it's such a minute amount that it should be a concern. Um, however, of course, in the interest of safety, whenever you do store this light for long periods of time, you should always remove the battery or lock out the tail cap. When the P25 uh, detects a low voltage of the cells, it will indicate it by rapid flashing when the light is on. So currently, this is in standby mode, and that's, um, again, the freshly depleted uh, really last 3400. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the light on. This is in the lowest mode, and this is the reason why I have a CD here, so I could see uh, whether the light is on. And as you'll notice, it's uh, flashing rapidly right now to let you know that the voltage is too low and that you should switch out the cell. Currently, I'm a few minutes into the um, charging portion. The cell has now reached about 3.45 volts, 
and it's charging at roughly a pretty steady uh, 500 milliamps or so, give or take a little bit. And when that P25 is charging, it will flash roughly about two times a second, a nice steady flash like that. And when charging terminates, that light will actually remain lit to indicate that charging is done. However, I did notice at that point, um, because that LED behind there is constantly lit, it will proceed to have a very minute current draw. So if you don't want your cells to be drained, regardless of how little, you should unplug the uh, USB cord right away. This USB cable is currently running directly off of a computer port. Uh, reason for that is because I wanted to know whether or not the charging termination is handled by the P25 uh, versus, like, say, one of those Samsung chargers that actually has a smart IC uh, built in at the USB side. So, um, again, I'll have the full charging algo graph in my re written review. It's now about eight and a half hours into the charge, um, and the charge has finally terminated at 4.22 volts. Uh, keep in mind that Ready Last 3400 was like around 3.2 at start, so it was uh, extremely depleted. So, but the uh, bottom line is that the charge has terminated, and as you can see, that light remains steady to indicate that it's fully charged. Now, if you come back here, you will see that there's a current draw of, um, I say that's roughly three and a half milliamps, all well, because of the fact that that uh, charging indicator is lit. So again, if you do not want any drain at all once the charging terminates, you should unplug that USB cable, which I'm gonna do right now. This is now uh, in its normal state where, again, the battery's fully charged and the charging indicator is no longer there. Now that reading is likely incorrect because this is at the higher 10 amp reading which was required for charging. So I'm actually gonna unplug this and plug it over to the uh, microamps to measure it correctly. And of course the light does default to on um, from standby if you remove the battery and plug it back in. So I'm gonna shut that off. And as you can see, it's back to normal. A potential issue I did want to highlight that I did mention in my main review is more to do with the P25's user interface in that it does memorize the last used mode. So currently I do have this defaulted to turbo. As you can see, turn that on, turn that off. And it does memorize it through battery changes as well. So I'm simulating that by unlocking it, putting it back on. And as you can see, it is memorized. Now the problem arises in that when you plug in the USB cable for charging, and I currently do have this plugged in through a USB port with an on-off switch so I could simulate power outages. Uh, as you can see, it will raise an error to indicate that the main tail cap switch isn't on, so charging will not initiate. Okay, fine, simple enough mistake. I'm sure a lot of people have done this. At which point you would turn on the tail cap and it would initiate charging. In this case, the battery is currently full, so it would show a steady state and it is not charging. Now for argument's sake, let's just say that that is charging you do have a power interruption, which I'll simulate by shutting the power off, the light will come on to the last used mode. And it will stay that way until power is restored. At which point, if the battery was depleted enough, it will initiate charging again. So this is something to keep in mind in that you should always ensure to put the P25 into standby mode before initiating charging. So how that's achieved is by turning it on, pushing on that switch, ensuring that it's in standby mode before plugging in the USB charging cable. So this way, in the event there is a power outage because it does remember that it was last in standby mode, it will continue to, to uh, turn on, so-called, in that mode. As you can see, power outage, P25 does not turn on. No charging, power is restored, P25 will reinitiate charging again. This is a safety precaution that one should take um, for prospective owners as well as current owners. And it's something that I've mentioned to Nikkor for them to provide back to the engineers. Hopefully they could change the way that the P25, such that it can recognize that 
the cable was plugged in and to default back to a uh, either standby or at least a low mode. And again, I want to clarify that this has nothing to do with the charging system itself, but more to do with the way that the UI is. In conclusion, I feel that the P25's charging circuitry is pretty good. Um, it does exhibit a CCCV-ish curve, although while not perfect, but it's still fairly good. The current starts to decline a few minutes after the start of charge, and while it's not steep, it does prolong charging a little. Keep in mind that charging current is maxed out at 500 milliamps, regardless of the charging source, and there is no advantage to using anything beyond 500 milliamps. Uh, the termination current is about 70 milliamp, which is very good. Now, upon termination, there is a minute current draw about 3.62 milliamps. This is due to the charging indicator light um, that stays lit. Otherwise, the standby current drain is extremely minuscule at 600 microamps with a spike to 1.4 milliamp due to the locator beacon. Charging voltage does hit a little bit high with max reach of 4.24 volts, but you gotta remember this is monitored while the uh, USB port is plugged in. As soon as you disconnect it, it actually falls to about 4.22 volts. To me, charging up to 4.22 volts is actually not a huge concern, especially with more of the modern cells um, that actually can be charged up to 4.25 volts. The charging circuitry does not seem to adapt to the algo of the external source. It always utilizes its own charging algo. I've also tested that the charger is able to reset trip PCBs on cells. So in case you trip one, you put it in, it will reset it. So that's a fairly nice feature. Safety wise, overall, I feel it's a fairly competent charger. It's great, it's all built in. It does add a little bit bulk to the head, but beyond that, you know, as mentioned, when you're backpacking, this, a USB cable plus a charging source is really all you need. So again, kudos, Nikor, great job. As part of FTC disclosures, in case you didn't see my main P25 review ahead of this video, the Nikor P25 was provided by Nikor for review. Thanks again for watching.